artists were quick to catch up on the lifestyle in an effort to save the planet. Emerging artist Gilbert Angeles, for one, pushes for more sustainable practices in the local art scene through his lifelong advocacy, the Green Arts Movement. I like to call this as green arts. Actually, it's a uh, post-consumer waste converted into art. That's why I uh, coined a word referring to an artist who is into post-consumer waste. So I'm a post-consumer artist. As a post-consumer artist, Gilbert makes art out of shredded plastic sachets, which come from an eco-friendly construction company. As for his canvas, Gilbert makes use of old plywood as well as paintings that have been worn down over time. I was really thinking of a way to make use of single-use plastics that was shredded by a company named Green Ants. Ronald Benick is a good friend that asked me to think of a way to make use of this material. I was the right person to talk to. I am in a right place at the right time. So I think it will make sense to use this laminated sachet, mix into paint, and then create something out of it. I was looking in the internet. I found out no one is using laminated sachet into paint. Then I discovered it is reinforcing the paint. It becomes a wafer-like substance that have insulation component. Only true artists can turn trash into treasure. Shredded laminated plastic sachets, when mixed with paint, expand and strengthen the paint. A perfect medium for Gilbert, who has been using it for only a year, but has already joined prestigious art competitions and exhibits. Today, Gilbert shows us how it's done. What we need to do is separate all the colors of this plastic laminates. The paint will be the binder. You need an adhesive or a um, substance that can act as an adhesive. So, all you need to do is incorporate them, mix them well, and what I'm using is a discarded paint, an old paint from a construction leftover. So, you have to mix this. Make sure that you're going to satisfy the consistency. So what we have is a sustainable green ant echo paint. Artists love the textures. So there's no rule. All you have to do is first do the background. What I love about acrylic is it easily dries up. You do not have to go back and forth for you to achieve the thickness. So the texture can be easily achieved. While Gilbert is working his magic, he notes that modern art is not keen on details. It's more free-flowing. However, keeping the colors in harmony still remains to be the rule of thumb. Once you're done painting the background, you can now start drawing the images. Keep going until you finally see your vision come to life. It's important to note that painting takes about two to four hours to be completed, or much longer depending on the creative process of the artist and how complex the art piece is. For each artwork, a three feet by four feet artwork, I can consume four kilos of laminated sachet. But, you know, this is not the solution. It is simply increasing awareness of single-use plastic. By using this, we are creating messages. Our mess can turn into a message. Gilbert encourages everyone, especially the youth, to join the green arts movement. He's also looking at mounting his first art exhibit that would showcase his eco-friendly masterpieces called Eco Paintings, all while raising awareness on the harmful effects of plastic and single-use packaging. So. This is very timely because Australia's forests are still burning and I want to send a message that we should take care of our forest. This painting is called Panagoy ng mga punong kahoy. As you can see, there are forests and there's something burning here. This one is called Silakbo ng Kamalayan. Through this painting, I'm sending a message that we must rise up our awareness towards single-use plastics. You can interchange the orientation of this painting. I will show you. You can see another view. These eco-paintings are hinged on Gilbert's advocacy of using our mess as a message. 
Himotok ng Bulkan, for example, captures the dramatic impression of a volcanic eruption and paghahati ng dilim at liwanag aims to awaken our consciousness to start the change within ourselves. In Gilbert's own words, Are we the light from the darkness or we are part of the darkness? This is not the solution. But we are part of the solution of making the awareness more clearly for us to take care of the environment. Though he's a teacher by profession, Gilbert admits that he has found his calling in the arts, spreading the message of sustainability through his paintings. Art isn't just a celebration of creativity. It can also be a powerful tool in terms of raising awareness and starting conversations about pressing environmental concerns, as well as causes like the Green Arts Movement, which hopes to inspire each one of us to use our creativity and ditch our old ways for a more sustainable lifestyle, all in the name of protecting the future of our planet.